The Milton real estate market has been in a state of flux for a few months now, coming off unprecedented increases that started in the summer of 2020 and ran with record prices each month for the last 18 months. Since the peak of prices in February, where the average sale price for a Milton home reached 1.352, the average price today has dipped 11.6% from that peak, but has increased slightly over April's numbers, leaving the average sale price for a Milton home currently sitting at 1.195. Comparing to last May, where we saw an average sale price of $1,062,000, leaving us still up 11% over last year at this time. The average increase we've experienced in Milton historically over the years is 5 to 8% growth year over year. With the shift we have seen over the last 60 days, being up still 11% over last year's numbers is still an exceptional market. What is really important to watch is demand, and that is what has shifted the most in our market over the last couple of months. So what has changed? There's a war in Ukraine and demand for commodities have increased. Now that we're out of lockdown and living our lives again, costs are up everywhere now, from gas to food to travel, which has impacted inflation in Canada. The Bank of Canada aims to keep inflation at the 2% midpoint of an inflation control target range of 1% to 3%. Now currently, the inflation rate year over year is 6.8%, marking the largest gain in consumer prices in more than three decades, which is why the Bank of Canada is working to curb inflation by increasing interest rates. The latest rate announcement was June 1st, and the Bank of Canada raised the overnight lending rate by 50 basis points. This impacts various lending vehicles like variable rate mortgage rates and also your home equity line of credit. The next rate announcement is set for July 13th, in which another increase is expected. The variable rate is not the only rate that we've seen go up. We've also seen an increase in fixed rate mortgages. Walking into a bank today or refinancing your mortgage to a five-year fixed rate with any of the top six banks would see you get a rate anywhere from four to five percent. Many folks are opting for a variable rate or a lower term three years or so to take advantage of the lower rate. Managing your expectations is important. The number of showings have come down drastically across all market segments. Gone are the days of getting 70 to 80 showings in the matter of days and lineups of buyers banging at your door begging for you to accept their offer. Where there are still multiple offers in some micro segments of the market, it is no longer as common as it was months ago. Watching closely at the absorption rate in this shifting market is imperative. We are sitting at a 2.65 month supply of inventory on the market, meaning that if no new homes entered the market, it would take over two and a half months to sell everything that was currently listed for sale. In the hot market of February, we were sitting under one month supply of inventory. Some micro segments of the market are sitting even higher at over six months of inventory, and that is in buyer market territory. It is increasingly important to have the data for your specific market within the market and not just looking at it as a whole. A lot of buyers, it seems, are waiting on the sidelines, waiting on the chance for home prices to come down while watching the increasing interest rates. The issue with this strategy is that it's almost impossible to time the market. By the time you see the shift, it's already too late. It's the old saying, it's time in the market, not timing the market. If you are thinking of selling right now, it is important to position yourself in today's market and in some cases ahead of the market. You must look your best, have some patience and absolute confidence in who you are choosing to partner with. Properties are still selling and selling well when executed with a proper plan and marketing. If you want to talk more about selling your home or finding a property, you can book an appointment with us at the Calendly link below.